What's up, world? It's your girl Chanel with The Realist Reader, home of The Realist Reads. Here on this channel, we read for real. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm very excited about this reading, actually. This is a pick a card reading with regards to your soul. And what we're going to do is explore what it is that your soul has a desire to experience and explore and express at this particular time in your life. So it's very exciting. Um, you guys are going to have three different groups to choose from. I'll go ahead and be quiet. You'll have the next 30 seconds to choose your group, and then I'll see you on the other side. Peace. Hi, group one. Welcome to your reading. Let's go ahead and take a look to see what it is that your soul wants to experience, explore, and or express at this time in your life. Wow. First card coming through here for you guys is family. So your soul really wants you to spend a lot of quality time with your family, okay? So this is about nurturing those familial relationships and connections. Um, if any of you have any damaged, um, you know, connections or any connections that are, you know, not in the best in the best place right now, your soul really wants you to work on healing and repairing those connections and prioritizing those connections. Just really spending that time nurturing those connections and um, and establishing, okay, for some of you, establishing a family of your own, actually. If you've been thinking about starting your own family, yeah. Absolutely. You're ready for it. Now would be a great time for you to venture out into that type of world. Marriage, children. What else here for my group one? Oh. Hmm. Loyalty. Ooh, group one. This is about commitment. A big commitment okay committing to your family yes so for any of you who have not been loyal to your spouse now's the time to be loyal um, also this is about loyalty being loyal to any projects that you have started you've said you know I want to accomplish a specific goal do it. You know, you said you wanted to do it. Do it. Your soul is like, listen, we got this. We can do it. We're ready. So your soul is championing you right now. Just really trying to encourage you to believe in yourself, group one. You absolutely can do this. Don't hold back. A big part of your purpose, group one, is to be of service. A big part is to be of service. So that's a desire. Your soul wants you to serve others and to be loyal to that purpose of yours. So think about different ways that you can go about doing that. Mm. Yeah, we're dealing with purpose right now. Your purpose is to be an influence on others. Okay, so you are a star, group one. And you leave an influence on others with the things that you say, the things that you do. Um, I feel for you guys that just your very presence is influential. 
you have the ability to leave an impact on this planet. You stand out of the crowd. You were never made to fit in. You are unique. And your soul wants you to embrace that aspect of yourself. So, right now is a good time for you to focus on committing to your family, yes, but also committing to your purpose of serving others by being an influence. So you really want to ponder on this. Some of you already know the different ways. You know, the different ways in which you can be this influence. Broadcasting for many of you. Many of you perhaps use your throat chakra. So maybe with a podcast, writing a book, comedy, stand up filmmaking, photography, art and artistry, music, YouTube, any social media. Policy. I feel like for some of you watching this, You have you you can use your throat chakra and make changes in the government. Gosh, I mean this could go on and on and on and on. And and it will, and it will be different for each of you watching this. However, just know that you have that type of presence and you have that type of purpose. And that this is something that your soul wants you to be focused on at this particular time of you watching this video. How can I serve? How can I be an influence? How can I be loyal to my purpose? How can I be loyal to myself? How can I be, how can I be loyal to my family? So that's what you want to be thinking about during this time. I do love you guys. Um, if you want a private reading, please feel free to book with me. I do offer them on my website www.therealistreader.com I also offer energy oracle cards love, career, and finances um, you'll be able to buy a deck in any of those genres plus many many more coming very very soon so I love you, be blessed and I'll talk to you later peace hi group 2, welcome to your reading let's go ahead and get started what is it that your soul has a desire to express, explore, and experience at this time? My beautiful group two. We got the serve card. So some of you watching this, perhaps you almost chose group one. Um, if so, maybe you want to watch that group as well. But your soul has a desire for you to be of service. Okay, you want to think about different ways in which you can serve others. So that's something that you want to consider right now. Yeah, how can you express yourself? This is about coming out. This is about expressing yourself in your own unique fashion. So speaking of fashion, I definitely feel for many of you watching this, many of you are quite artistic and um, very expressive when it comes to that. However, many of you perhaps lack confidence when it comes to expression. There could be some self-doubt that you're carrying there somewhere in your energetic field. So you just want to work on that a little bit. Ooh. 
retreat <laughs> retreat coming through here okay so that is about going within and restoring restoring and replenishing i feel like there's a need to replenish your energy maybe you're tired group two maybe you're just really tired how can you serve and be of service if you're tired you got to serve yourself first and foremost right you have to serve yourself you have to take care of yourself so that's what your soul wants you to do and then you can express yourself and show up for everybody else like hey look at me look what i have to offer you know but first you have to be you have to be good your cup has to be full um your soul is letting you know you are destined to experience wealth and abundance here on this planet yes this is for you group two this is not a pipe dream. Many of you watching this, you have you have imagined it. You've imagined a lifestyle where you didn't have to worry about money. You had access to many resources. You had so much time on your hands because money just came easily to you. Many passive income streams. This is something that is here for you. Um, this is something that your soul wants for you to experience riches, all the riches in the world. However, you got to take care of yourself first and foremost. If you need some time alone, away from the crowd, away from family and friends and just to yourself do what you got to do then you can come back out and lift others up that's a big part of your purpose actually is to uplift others coaching teaching mentoring guiding mm-hmm that's a big way that a lot of you are meant to serve. I don't want to say meant to serve, but let's say that your soul has a desire for you to serve in that way. Yes. Wonderful. And for some of you with this creative expression and uh, I see fashion for some of you guys watching this, you're so creative and you can be so you can you can start and create your own boutique or something that can do so well that's obviously not for everybody watching this but somebody here needs to know you can do it guys i do offer private readings if you want to book a private reading visit me at my website www.therealistreader.com i also offer energy oracle cards i'd be happy to read for you or um if you want to book a deck uh, you can't book a deck, but you can buy a deck. Um, I have them in love, career, and finances currently. I do love you, and I'll talk to you guys in a different reading. Be blessed. Bye. Hi, group three. Welcome to your reading. Okay, let's get started and see what it is that your soul has a desire to experience, explore, and express at this time in your life what is it that your soul has a desire for you to experience explore and express oh snaps hmm I feel for you guys that you're on this wheel of trading your time for money and it's causing you to really really stress out like you're stressed the F out. It's just too much because you're not getting paid enough. It's like your time is way too valuable to be getting paid what you do. So I feel like you're burned out and exhausted. And I feel like your soul is like, 
Like your soul has a desire for you to take back control over the value of your time. Revalue your time. It's not a bad thing to trade the money for time. That's, right? It's not a bad thing. It's just like, okay, if, if $15 an hour is not doing it for you, then do something or figure figure out a way where you can have more time. That's what your soul wants. That's what your soul needs. Excuse me. <laughs> your soul is like, no, I need that. We need that. We need more time. Hmm. Partner. Perhaps some of you watching this are in a space where you're feeling like you're doing it all alone. Maybe you're feeling lonely. Um, and you need help. Some of you, you, you might actually be with someone and you still feel like you need help. And it's like your soul is just, your soul is looking for a partner. Like a true partner. So if you are with someone and you feel like you still don't have the help that you need, you got to talk. You have to have a real heart to heart conversation with that person. If you're not with anybody and you're lonely, your soul is craving a partner, a friend even. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner, you know what I mean? A friend. A business partner for some of you, if you've been thinking about going into business. Should I do it alone? Should I, you know, have a partner? Yeah, you could partner. A time partner. Maybe some of you need an accountability coach. If it's difficult for you to hold yourself accountable for things. Anything else here from my beautiful group three? Anything else? Counsel. Your soul. Ooh. As far as purpose is concerned, guys, a big part of your purpose has to do with counseling and inspiring others. If you're trying to figure out what to do, like if you're, if, if you're done with the job that you have and you're like, what should I do next? Consider being a counselor, a guide, a teacher, a coach. And consider inspiring others. Inspiration is huge people need to be inspired especially these days so imagine yourself being a beacon of light for others you can inspire people you can help lift people up you can help show people the way you can be a leader that's what you can do that's what your soul wants you to do at least Anything else here for my beautiful group three? Business. Your soul is like, let's get down to business. It's time to get things in order. So for some of you guys, if you've been thinking about starting a business, maybe your own practice or your own business, I'm seeing a couple of things here. I'm seeing law for some of you guys, somebody watching this. I don't know. I'm just seeing like law and order right now. So I'm seeing like law for some of you guys. 
a law practice or something, and a financial business are just some things that are coming through here, okay? Order, orders, so like packaging things, maybe selling things online, some type of e-commerce. For those of you who have been considering drop shipping, e-commerce, or just selling a product online, yes, you could do that. You could make good money in that business, okay? I love you. Um, if you want a private reading with me, please consider booking with me. I'm available. I got you. You can book with me on my website, www.therealestreader.com. I'd be more than happy to read for you. Um, I also sell energy oracle decks on my website. Currently, I sell love, career, and finances. Um, soon to come, I'll be selling life purpose oracle decks, regular life in general oracle decks, and um, what else? Health. And then a whole bunch of other ones, like even this deck is one of my decks, The Realist Desire. But these kind of decks will come later down the line. But I love you guys, and I'll be talking to you later. Be very blessed. Bye.